We are joined, as we said, by our charity cyclist here, Hendrik. Good afternoon, Hendrik. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm wonderful, man. Good, good. Uh, so you, uh, you've literally just ran in here with your, with your bike. Uh, where, where have you been today? Well, I actually came from London. So London? Was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> on your bike? <laughs> yeah, on my bike with all my kit on, like, um, sleeping bag, rolling mattress, like spare food anything you can imagine you actually need when you start cycling and how, what time did you leave london this morning no i actually left london yesterday morning yesterday right <laughs> yeah. 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 i was about to say that'd be really quick no 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 i left london yesterday by properly i would say 12 o'clock lunchtime yeah. and um so i slept last night over not far from here wow uh so what are you doing what tell everybody what you're doing well Basically, um, next year I'll be cycling from Buckingham Palace to Cape Town, and that will be 15,000 miles, raising money for soulless end up with post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, at this moment, what I'm doing, I've just completed my um, tour la- last month in August. I've been cycling up to Newcastle and back to London to make the awareness also up north, and that is what I'm doing now, basically. I'm cycling down south, to make all the people also aware um, about my big challenge next year. Mm. And people are getting more and more aware, aren't they? Oh, definitely. Um, I c- cannot thank the public uh, even more, you know, like uh, I want to say thanks for them to getting involved. And um, every time when I look on my Facebook page, which people can find willpower um, and like it. And as I said, every time when I lock on, more people have start getting involved and like it. I just want to say that some people get confused sometimes. It's not willpower, but wheel like uh, willpower. Yeah, W H E E L power. So, uh, when did you like come up with the idea of you know I'm going to cycle from Buckingham Palace to Cape Town? Well, um, basically, um, I used to be sick of post traumatic stress disorder. I used to surf in the cold stream guards, and you know. St- stand in front of Buckingham Palace, do Queen's Day birthday parade, um, do duties also at Tower of London, Windsor Castle. So I came sick, I came sick of post-traumatic stress in um, or just three months after my wedding in um, 2010. Um, I started showing the symptoms of flashback, nightmares, depression, um, start drinking heavily behind my wife's back, end up on drugs, suicide. Um, and then I got divorced at the end, only 11 months after my marriage, I got divorced. Um, so basically one day um, I was sitting, I was in my room and I was throwing blood up because you can imagine of all the drinking. Mm-hmm. I used to drink almost a litre of whiskey every day. Um, and at that moment, I told myself, I don't want to suicide anymore or harm myself anymore. I want to go out there because we're living in a world that nobody cares about each other anymore. You know, I'm coming from a place, London, you know, and people don't actually greet each other there. You know, people are just on their own mission. Mm-hmm. And I thought to myself, I don't want to have that mentality. I want to go out there. And if it, if it takes me 15,000 miles to help these people, I will do that. Awesome. I mean, it, it just shows like your story there, you know, people can pull through and, you know, do amazing things. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's it's all in, in your mind. You know, if you're positive in life, what you're doing, you can achieve anything, you know. It's all, it's, you just need to give it everything. I mean, a lot of people didn't give me a chance when I started in 2011 with this project. I used to be much, much overweight, you mm. know. And I went, I went and worked hard, you know, because, as I said, if you're positive, what you're doing, and you can do anything. Mm, and so it's getting more recognition and you've sent a letter to Prince Harry as well so hopefully <laughs> you'll get something from that it seems as the Invictus Games have just happened which was absolutely brilliant uh, so where can people donate to Willpower? Well as I said people can look on, on www.willpower.info and there is a link where they can donate on there towards the charity. Um, they can also watch my ITV, my London ITV news. I've been on television in London. They can also listen to my other radio station interviews that I had, newspapers, you know, that I've been up north and that. Yeah, and, it, and you know, it will be nice if more people can get involved in this project, you know, um, t- to help these people, uh, the soldiers that struggle with uh, post-traumatic stress. I just want to say I've met, like, since I've started it, I've met 
like a lot of people that struggle with it and mm. it gives me also more confidence to get on that bike and cycle and one last thing i'm also a registered with help for euros so that's my charity that i've choose to cycle awesome and you also got a facebook page where people can follow you and follow what you're doing and your next step and all that as well yes um when i look onto my website also they will find also there's a facebook page they can click on that and like my facebook page or or they can just go on facebook themselves type in willpower and they can find me and like my page and they can follow my tour you know like and see what i'm doing on a daily basis where i'm camping yeah. <laughs> uh hendrik thank you so much for coming in today uh, when does the tour start again next year um i plan to start next year in july if everything goes good yeah it will be definitely july and yeah and hopefully prince harry's yeah hopefully <laughs> uh hendrik good luck with it next year and thank you for coming in the, uh, this afternoon thank you very much